Hey, welcome to Lost Abroad Cafe devlog number six. I'm Brent, your lead developer, and we've got two cool new features to show off today. But first, a huge announcement. We've just launched our Lost Abroad Discord server and would love for you to join. Follow the link in the description and interact with other members of the Lost Abroad community to share language learning tips and give us more feedback on how we're doing building Lost Abroad Cafe and all our future games. Now, moving on to gameplay updates. The first is the ability to filter the menu. The long list was starting to get a little bit confusing, so now players can click on the equipment icons at the top of the menu to filter only equipment that uses those icons. The second is a much improved leaderboard. You can now see the top players by time period, for all time, this month, this week, or today, and also by language. Congrats to Deeb for really running away with the lead this month. In our next content update coming up in December, we've got some really tasty additions chocolate syrup for all your mocha lovers, and milk for those customers that don't want just a black coffee. Going forward from there, we'll begin making specific changes for each individual language. We know that you probably won't find muffins in a French cafe, and in Italy you'll typically get a quick shot of espresso in a tazina rather than a cup of drip coffee. And don't worry, I have not forgotten about the Kyoto ice drip coffee either. I want to say thank you to everyone in the Lost Abroad community that's already made it what it is today. I hope to see you in the Discord server, and best of luck on the December leaderboard. See you next time.